chapter 16, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit, when He comes, He will speak of many things, but He will speak not on His own accord. He will speak the words that He hears from God and He'll declare it unto you because His mandate is to lead you to God. He is the Wi-Fi of heaven. He is Vuma. And without Him, you got no connection. Council, we didn't have uh, power in our house from Wednesday. But that's okay. I can live with that. I can switch my generator on. I got gas stoves. But don't take away my Wi-Fi. I need to be com- connected. It's become so important that even when we go on holiday, we've asked them, is there Wi-Fi there? That's how your Holy, the Holy Spirit is the divine Wi-Fi of heaven. He has come to connect you, to show you that you are not an orphan. He has come to as a down payment to tell you that there's something divine about you. Born to be special. God wants to put a fire in your marriage. He wants to put a fire in your business. He wants to put a new fire in your destiny. But he cannot, he cannot connect to your flesh. God the Spirit. God cannot connect to your flesh. God needs a, a connection. A supernatural connection. This is the Holy Spirit. He is that connection that God can speak to you. That's how I was speaking to y'all. I plugged into the Wi-Fi of heaven. And I got some information from you and you and you. And when you unplug me, I cannot access that. It doesn't matter whether I own 20 houses. It doesn't matter whether I drive the latest Mercedes. It doesn't matter whether I'm wearing an Italian suit or snakeskin shoes that the church makes anointing about. It's about how much I'm connected. How strong is my connection to heaven? Because from there, I access the treasures for God's people. That's what determines who you're going to be. The church has made it about how you speak and how you dress and, and how you look and how people perceive you. Those things are fleshly things. It's about how strong your Wi-Fi connection is to God. This is the promise of the Holy Spirit.